Well, they know what they are doing. They are their sons and, and grandsons. So when you go into the, you go through our traditional rules, invite all these, uh, the, the, that their fathers and, the, and their grand and their grandfathers, talk, tell them to talk to their sons and, and, grand, and, and grandsons, and see what will happen. But of course, give these people authority to do something if these people don't do anything, because these people still respect them, still know that they can do something. It, you have to. It, it is. It is uh, an issue now that has taken a lot of dimensions, and you need you need a multi-dimensional approach to do it. While it is important for the for, for military operations to take their course, because it, the, some of them have already become so 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 uh, uh, they, they have they have broken completely from their communities. They have become rogues in any way, in, in, and 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 they they, are, they they only now depend on their guns, and they can do anything with their guns. There are there are a lot of them, that, but there are still those of them that their parents and grandparents can control. So these two things have to go, you know, hand in hand. While 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 the mini, while the military and the and, and the police. Uh, uh, on the uh, on the trail of the of, of the uh, of the recalcitrant ones, the traditional authorities should also be empowered to 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 go through the 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 the, 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 the parents and grandparents and bring bring those that that still respect the, the, the still respect tradition in, in back, back back to back to order. I assure you, they can they can do it. They know them very well. So, but some people are of the belief that. Um, these Fulanis, like you said, they have been neglected by democracy. Uh, do you also believe that, okay, the government now decides to take social investment, improve their standard of living, will that at least uh, help them or, or curtail these uh, grudges they are now? Well, that, that, is, that is normal for every community. Every community that you know that does not get the the attention of of, of government might revolt. That is that is very normal. Not even not only the the the, the Fulani, but I assure you the 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 Fulani are not people that have uh, that have that, that that look up to the, the government. They don't demand. They don't need. They don't really need so much from the government. From what I know about, them. but of course times have arrived. When you know uh, uh, they, they recognize schools, they recognize hospitals, they recognize grazing lands, they recognize uh, 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 they wear the water, their hats, and, and all that. So of course it, this is this is very it is very normal for for for, for local governments you know to to get to understand this. And but fundamentally, before you can do that effectively, if you are dealing with the flying, before you can do that effectively. You have to make room for the traditional rulers to be in between them and us. That is very fundamental. And let me tell you, the 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 the, the, the local government system that we have adopted from the US would I would say you know kind of created this problem for us. Why? Because we did not we did not, you know, bring in our own history and culture into this local government administration. It is completely a Western, a Western arrangement. The, our tradition and culture is the only effective method of mobilization that we have when you go to our villages. And therefore, if you want local government to be effective enough to, to reach out the Fulanis and all other remote local communities that we have, then you have to give a role within the local government system to traditional rulers to fill in that gap. That is very important. Because if you recall, when we were young in our villages, you have the, 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 the Mayungwa is there, Sarikin Fulani is there, Sarikin Shanu is there, Sarikin Pawa is there, Sarikin. All these traditional title holders were the people that controlled that decided what happens within their local communities and they coordinated their affairs effectively and everybody listened to them and everybody is ready to take orders from them and that is when communities lived peaceably today these people have been completely irrelevant in fact sometimes in some places they no longer exist even when there are traditional homes where the, this 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 is, is 
sarkin aski this one sarkin noma this one sarkin fulani they used to they used to to come together in an 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 coordinator affairs of their villages this is something that local government as it is today cannot do and therefore it has to to be to 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 be stepped down if you like so that these people are given some powers within the system to have a say to have some form of authority to control what happens in their villages and towns maybe a community village council or something that could report to the local government uh, you know uh, effectively and you, you things will be will, 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 will be coordinated and so i don't i don't like the issue of uh, you know uh, a, a, a given amnesty to criminals if these people have made up their mind into this criminal activity if you give them amnesty they are only going to give you uh, 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 some, some some holiday but they will come back it's, it, they have already seen money in it when they have the money they will listen to you when they don't have money they will go back you have to treat a criminal like a criminal and then go back and look at those other people that are ready to you know help create peace especially their parents and grandparents use them to 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 bring those that are ready to 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 to, to live peacefully with others and then let the military and the police fight the others this thing has to go you know this thing has to go together there is no way you can do one thing and leave the other and get and, and achieve peace with this uh with this with this banditry because it is criminal it is a crime when a criminal is is, is enjoying his crime you can't you can't tell him to 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 stop uh for for for, for a while i will i'll give you i'll give you amnesty i'll i'll even uh give you a job i'll give you land to to to, to build your house i'll do this that is not what he understands that's not why he is doing what he is doing he is doing what he is doing because there is money in it that he puts in his pocket and do what he likes with it and he has a gun that he believes is is the most is, is uh, the most lethal weapon in this world so you have to have a military operation that will show the those holding the guns that that gun they are holding is nothing of a weapon if there is going to be war between them and government that is very fundamental and this is why I, 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 I will keep saying that it is something that governments need to, to, to handle with, with a lot of care. Number one, it is very important to treat the criminals like the criminals they are. So that those, those persons on which they are unleashing this crime will now know that, that what those people are doing to them is wrong. And it is not accepted by a government and is not accepted by anybody. And then uh, come back and then begin to create areas by which you could now uh, bring back peaceful co coexistence with those that are ready to to, to live in, in peace with, with, with everyone. Uh, those people that have been affected by this uh, by this calamity need to need to be made to understand that this crime, this criminal activity is not accepted by us by government or by anybody and if you don't show if you don't show force if you don't show force on the on the criminals then those those that the crimes have been unleashed upon will now begin to we now begin to ponder that so after all those people that are doing this to us are not are not are not, are not punished and will not be punished and we are supposed to just leave and, and watch them kill us every day. This is this is the, the this is a problem with this with, with this thing. While the, the actions that you take must be actions that will show the, the everybody and even the world that you are really treating this matter as a criminal activity and the criminals that are, are, are doing this are being pursued. I've been forced to down. I've been shown the real force of government is beyond their own. Look, any man that used to hold his stick thought that that stick was was uh, as a more lethal weapon than any weapon in this world because he doesn't know any other weapon. So that stick that he was holding, he believes that he can do anything with it. Now this is the same person that is holding an AK-47 that he can shoot at at, at very long range. Not the stick that he was holding that he can only throw there. 
He believes it is, it is the highest weapon that ever exists on an arm. That is their type. And then today, they have a gun. And the government has not shown them that AK-47 itself is not a weapon if there is going to be war. That has to be done before the Fulani knows that he is, he is, really, he is really making a mistake to think that that AK-47 is holding is beyond anything. You have to bring him back to his senses first. And you can only do that by showing him that he is not actually holding a weapon. So now, looking at the education of, uh, with these attacks mm -hmm. that the government has now resolved to do schools, in the future, if this problem is not being solved, mm -hmm. what effect mm -hmm. will it have on the education sector? I mean, you can see it's uh, it's already it's already taking its toll on 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 our, on our education system because no how many people now how many people now for example in Kazna will 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 it will will it trust any school authority with their children in a boarding in a board, how many I mean it's it, it, this is why uh, actions that the government take about these people has to be decisive it has to be decisive. And they have to be. It has to be enforced, because if you if you continue, there is no there is there is no 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 uh, fear is the most is, 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 is the most terrible thing that you would that you wouldn't allow your people to have about whatever, especially your, your your education system. Fear has been instilled now into the the parents or our children. How many how many uh, you know uh, parents now? can afford to take the children to a boarding school and come back home and sleep. So it is, it is, it is really a, a, a terrible thing. We are really in, 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 in big trouble, particularly here in this, uh, in this, in this area where, uh, where this uh, forest is bordering our towns and, and, and villages. We, we, there, has to be, there has to be real decisive action from the government that would now bring the confidence of the people back into into the into into you know the the, the, the affairs of, of government so that at least they can now uh, gradually begin to trust that you know they can they can have some confidence in what our government says or what it does and then uh, make sure that their security is, is truly guaranteed by by government because nobody can really guarantee your security other than government communities can only do little effort to to you know supplement what the government does so it's it's a decision that has to be taken and enforced. Well, uh, I I I think pol pol uh, community policing is is good, uh, but in my opinion, it is not just community policing that can solve this problem. It is. Uh, it is more. It, it, it should be broader. It should be like a, like a community council. It's not just you don't just create a create a, a people that you call community police and just throw them into into around probably with not even proper coordination or what how, what they are going to do. You see, you in order in in order to establish a peace in our villages, what is very fundamental is to create the authorities that will coordinate the affairs of our people in the villages and in the forests. That is very fundamental. Create authorities that will be present 24 hours. When you do that, create the community police and hand them over to these communities so that they may not even have a job to do. Because whatever is going to... In, in, intelligence will tell you what is going to happen in the next one, two, three, or four hours or tomorrow. And the moment that our communities are organized and are given some form of authority to look after their communities and to, to be part of the, of the affairs of their communities with legal authorities to take some actions, then I assure you the, 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 the communication, the, 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 the rapport, the council into which there is the Sarkin Falani, there is the Sarkin Noma, there is the Meungua, there is that council, if you have it, Will definitely have intelligence. They will know what's happening. What is what is what is so so person doing? What is because go to our villages today. Call any mengwa, ask him about his his his, his ungwa, that is his, his 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 area. He will tell you the name of each father, each wife, each child in every home. 
in Abraham. So they know who is there and who is not there. They know who is the bad egg and who is not. And when you have the circuit within the, the, the community council, and the circuit number is there, whatever happens between a farmer and a flood can easily be, be uh, put in the bag before it gets out of hand. Because before it happens, they, they will probably know before. When, when, the, when large herds of cattle approach our villages, the 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 fellani or the arlo they used to communicate with the with the with the palace and tell them we we're saying there's there's a movement of so 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 cattle coming around this area but then this is a situation where you can only may probably tell the policeman or the military man and he may not even go there but if these other people have authority to contain it it won't happen because they are with they are living within there and every movement or every person they will know. They will know if uh, a full animal should should go and steal someone's uh, someone's cow. Why is he going with it? Either in, to, to, to to the bush or to the market. Now, if he goes to the bush, he leaves this uh, this 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 uh, this this full animal hut, steals a cow here, and moves it to the other hut. The second full animal of this hut will report him to the community council. And if he takes it to the market, the Sarkin Kaswa is there, he will say, uh, this, 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 this cow is, is, is told. If he takes it to the butcher, the Sarkin power is there, he will know. There is a way these people coordinate their affairs traditionally. And that has been broken. That has not been given any legal, uh, uh, legal, legal, legal authority for action. And this is why I'm, t I, I'm saying that we, we, we decided to put aside our history, culture, and tradition in the act of local governance. And this is why we have a gap in authority. So finally, how can we begin to work mm. to ensure that this gap mm. is saved? Uh, create, create village councils under the local government council. Give them some powers to coordinate the affairs of their communities. Let them report to the local government council whatever they see that is beyond their capacity. You only need to, to, to look at your local government laws of each state. Create these people under the local government laws and they are legal. When you start talking about creating a place for traditional rulers under the constitution, I see it as irrelevant. Because what are they going to do under the constitution? The constitution has already done what it should. It has empowered state local state assemblies to, to, to enact laws for, for local government uh, administration, including, including the powers of finance, the powers of structure, the powers of establishment, all of them. What you need is to employ this power of structure that the constitution has given to, to, uh, to uh, state assemblies. Let them use these powers of local government structure to create uh, community or village, or village councils and give them some powers to, 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 to coordinate the social, the social economic activities of their people. And let, let, let me see how they cannot solve this problem. That is the gap that we have. We have a local government system that, that is far away that has, has created a gap between the governed and the government. There is, there is hardly no, there is no link between the ordinary Fulani man and his local government. Why? Because the traditional authorities that should have made the link is not part of the system. A local government is about grassroots government. And you cannot have grassroots government that cannot mobilize the grassroots. And that is the local government system we have today. So you only need to create local governments. Now go to look at uh, you. I have always given people the example of local government in India. Local government in India has four levels. But we, you know, they did this out of because of the population that they have, which is the same problem that we have. We have population. And local government, grassroots government needs to be right, right at the villages, right at the grassroots to the, to the smallest hamlet. And you can only do that when you create community councils, village councils, or even district councils. That is what you have in India. The local government is, there is here a village uh, community council, there's a village council, there's a district council, and then the local government, and they work together. This one, the, 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 the information comes from the village to the district to the local government, and from the local government to the district back to the village. So there is complete coordination of activities. After all, well, you look at Indian you don't you have banditry in, in, in India in, in their history? That is the field they call uh, decorate fields. You see them there, it is not because they have, it has not happened, it has happened in India. And it is the local government system that arrested this situation. Because they have expanded the system to reach the grassroots level. 
So every person has an authority close to him. They are part of the system. And therefore, everybody has to behave because he is within an authority that can uh, take decisions about, about his behavior or, or, or wrong, 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 uh, right or wrong. That is what, so uh, this is why I've always said that we need to look at our local government system. It is part of the problem. It is part of the problem. We need to expand it to drop it into the into the grass. Let the grass be part of the system, and you can only do that through the through our tradition, culture, and history. And that is what that is what local government is all about. All over the world, ours is so different. I don't know why. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Informed, enlightening conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you.